Hello and welcome to Doremus J's Gaming. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell. Now off to the video. Hello everyone and welcome back to Doremus J's Gaming. We are back with another episode of Age of Wonders Planet Fall. We are playing through the Oathbound campaign right now. And I just wanted to say real quick, thank you to all of our new subscribers. Uh, we have been sitting at 119 all year. I have been trying to get us past 119. We just jumped up five subscribers this weekend. Thank you so much for everyone who subscribed. And, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the channel. And don't forget to leave likes, comments down, down there. I do read comments, guys. I, I will read things. Anyways... Right now, what we have to do is, one of the things we need to do, we need to come over here and take care of that, which is locate the source, okay. We need to attack some hopper hounds, which, there's some hopper hounds right there. In fact, those guys, they're on a, oh, Cosmite stash, which I could actually use right now. I could really use a Cosmite stash. So I think once these guys get together, I'll send them. Uh, I'll send the the twelve of them over here to hit this Cosmite stash and get the Hopperhound DNA. And then we have this group over here that we're gonna have to. I'm honestly hoping they don't attack. Oh, that's a 9:30 army power too. Oh, yeah, that's that's gonna be rough. And then this is. Oh yeah, gardening skills, which is the la mission. <laughs> I'm kind of happy that they tell us the last mission that <laughs> we had. What I'm thinking... Man, I'm thinking we'll hit these guys. Oh! <sighs> these pain in the necks. Other examinees are pain in the necks. They just like to message us like every couple of turns. Examinee Aluna. There is yet another transmission from Aquas Denard. He seems more than eager to share his progress. Bravely bold, Aquas Denard flew forth from Elder Sed. He was not afraid to die, brave Aquas Denard. He was not at all afraid to kill monsters many ways. Brave, brave, brave Aquas Denard. Oh, okay. When the assembly reared its ugly head, he bravely rescued Elberdstead. Yes, Aquestinard took them on and gauntly saved everyone. With sword and shield and iron feet, he made the assembly retreat. Bravest of the brave, Aquestinard. I applaud you, Aquestinard, to this victory over the assembly. More and more planets are being threatened by their plans of world domination. I am sure Quest Berselia will be interested to hear in detail which weapons and strategies helped you prevail. A paladin's greatest weapon is his courage, but the battle for the Equazit of Denard is not over yet. The assembly keep resisting my glorious charge, though undoubtedly not for long. I can indeed give plenty of advice to you, Quest Berselia. A quest for Sirio. Oh dear, Simon, it's four and five. A quest for Sirio is not available to answer your questions at this moment, and frankly, he will stay busy for quite a while. We need every disposable individual to set up the Logan Shaw grapple on this planet. You monsters! Don't think your aggressive expansion will grant you any lasting victories. We will keep resisting. Resist all you like, for the assembly, disconnected body parts are just as valuable as the entire subject. Reassembly will come to everyone. Make your choice of whether it will happen to you sooner or later. Okay, well, we won't be worrying about one of our examinees. Uh, that's not good, though. Our colonies require the... I have a feeling we're going to be having to do something with the assembly, either in this... In this one or in the next one. I I I I'm 
I am fairly certain that either in this one or the next one we're going to be doing something to the assembly. Huh. Alright, so now this... Now with the... A commander, the army power is 953. That's actually not a bad army power. It's not great. I, I, I'm, I will say that. And okay. So my goals for today is one, I want to work on this one just because a couple of things. Firstly, I it is a side mission, so I don't think it will actually do anything to bring closer to ending the game. But also, I believe it's going to be a side mission that makes to where if we complete it, we're going to be able to do a... Uh, you complete it, and it, it, it might change in the next episode or in the next level what our secret tech is. It could change our secret tech. Granted, I think this one might also. One of these two might change our secret tech, which is going to be cool if that's the case. <laughs> and so I'm wanting to... I'm going to do both of these littler missions. Uh, now, due to what I have to do, I am going to need to... I'm going to have to manual combat just because of the fact that I'm going to need to use a special ability that only the one creature has. And they, there is bugs in this one, yeah. So what we'll do is we'll probably keep the beetles alive while we take these, these guys' DNA. Okay, so the goal is killing off these guys in a fairly quick manner. Okay, I can actually get move right here and get um, some blockage. I granted blockage there is not going to help. Yeah, there's tall, there's trees tall enough to actually be able to protect us. What is this? Gift of precognition target enemy one stack of hearing negated negating the next direct attack to hit it. Oh that's actually pretty good. That's <laughs> surprisingly useful. Okay, I wanna target those guys. Okay, I'm gonna move him. Let's move him right here, because then he'll be within their, their shield buff. And then we're going to fire the Burning Great Bow at him. And these guys are just going to move right here. Okay. So he, I didn't even really look at what he has. He has Volt Surge, Surge to Target Hex, and then Twin Axes. And that is a 7. Okay. I'm going to have him move up here. And I'm going to have him move right here. He'll move right here. Oh, dang it, they're just out of range. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, move right here. Stay. And this group will move right here and give Oath of Loyalty and Shields up. And since these three are just going to be best marched right next to each other. Alright. What just happened? Something just happened. It grazed but did no damage. Okay. 
Operations ready. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna electrocute them. Or I can just move into melee with them. Let's do ahead and move into melee with them. And let's go ahead and shoot them with this guy. And then. I'm not sure if I really want this one going after him or going down here or hmm. Well, here I have a shock. I have a little volt pistol. Let's just volt pistol. Enemy it. eliminated. Especially because I had a feeling that it was going to kill him off. And so I'm gonna move him here. Because then he'll give a little bit of shielding. And I'll be able to do that. Okay, he'll move here. And give Oath of Loyalty. I'll have this big guy move up here. Yeah. I have a bird coming to get one of y'all. Dang, I can't reach that target. So I'll have him move over here, though. Because next turn, he'll be able to do that. And then we'll just have to get one more Hopper Hound after this. Ooh, it was a critical hit. Nice. Took him down without a problem. All right. All that's left is the one creature. What is that? Like it's not doing anything to me. But yeah, this is all I have left is this guy. All right. Let's go ahead. Move that guy there. Get the Hopper Hound mutation. And then... Move over here. Actually, you guys are gonna... You guys are going to move over here real quick. And then we're going to end turn. Pretty much just, that just puts everyone into defense mode. Oh, ow. Okay, well they're going to get they get to die this next this turn. Okay, first go here, here, that. Take the hopper hound mutation. And then, go over here and bite this thing. And then he can barbecue him, because he's taking a bunch of damage by this stupid worm. Enemy, the predicted outcome. There we go. He's gone. But yeah, he took a lot of damage. Alright, now we're going to... Yeah, yeah. Great work. Aluna Loinessa. The research unit is adapting well and the new DNA is absorbed. Don't be alarmed about the e extra legs. And it now be the towering monstrosity. Oh jeez. It's a destroyer. Or it's off, oh, Rick. <sighs> Director Inessa, this research thing you have me traps trapezing around is calling itself a plague lord. This is the most unscientific science I have ever seen. Unconventional problems require unconventional methods. 
We are almost there. The last target species are the Me Melisilians. Their DNA will strengthen our immune system and let us adapt to the environment with its ever-changing hazards. Objective okay. Completed. See, and this is getting me a lot of... A lot of production, energy, food. And now I got to salvage some Cosmite. And now we're going to go and go after a, the my, Mycelians. Mycelians, Mycelians. Okay. That's uh -huh. okay. She has to go over here and get some work done first. Granted, I think I want to go to the Lost Toy first, actually. Let's do the Lost Toy. And we can annex a sector here. Let's see here. I'm thinking the Fields of Kindred. It has an overgrown biome with a meadow, and it's it's a pretty high agricultural. And these guys get to annex their first sector. Alright, let's go ahead and do this one right here, just because overgrown biome, river delta, you know, it's a huge, it's a huge sector. And we need to, yeah, we need to go and ha do that. I'm thinking what I want to do is I want to come over here and do this. And then just because this giant thing is worrying me, I want to go kill that. Well, I don't think I have the manpower at the moment to take out that group. Oh, Warden the ranks. The people need a friend they can entrust with their power. A warden to guide them safely along the upward path. Who will not be diverted by the lure of popularity or self-promotion. Orphan bands. Civil... Hmm. All right, let's see, what is this? These are going to be different strategic options. A paladin protector will patrol target-friendly colony when friendly armies fight in target-friendly colony. A paladin protector will aid them in combat at the end of comp, but the protector disappears at the end of combat. Target-friendly army evolves a prime rank paladin aspirant into paladin warden. It permanently gains a plus one status effect resistance. So if we have a prime rank paladin aspirant, that just turns him into a paladin warden. Which, that's the warden. Turns him into, you know, the range. Elevate to protector. Target friendly army evolves a prime rank paladin aspirant into a paladin protector. Which I believe is that one? No, that's the watcher. Wait, wait, wait. Protector. That's a champion. That's a diviner. That's an exemplar. So I wear what? Paladin protector. Watcher. Well, I don't know what a protector actually is. Yeah, I have absolutely no clue. Um, yeah, that's the diviner. That's the champion. That's the exemplar. That's the warden. Interesting. So let, I got. We gotta research that. <laughs> so we can now take our exempt our aspirants and does that even say anything about like doing that no so you one you need those abilities but once they are prime ranked the, okay that makes it actually really useful to keep them alive you know that's really useful guys <laughs> yeah that's that's useful I like it and over here we have just these guys, but we're about to build another little guy. And then you move. Not in the mood to build a forward base at the moment. So yeah, now that the now that we have a plague lord, this group might be able just to, yeah, you know, we could just come over here and do it. Especially because they're kind of in our way, anyways. Now, sadly enough, like I said, I don't think the auto combat will actually... We're going to have to manual combat it because I think the auto combat will not use the special ability. So, that sucks. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to go... I'm going to move him here. And let's see. He's just going to come smashing through things. I really don't want him smashing through things, though. So, I'll move him here. 
defense mode. You're my flyer, so I'll go flying over here. Plague Lord has... <laughs> Re well, I don't have any. Plague Pods. Lacerating Tentacles. Oh my goodness. And then, of course, extract the Mausalian DNA. So I'll also have, have him move here. And just defense up. And honestly, I'm going to go ahead and send these two this way. To cover the Plague Lord. Just because, yeah, even though, yeah, he's a Plague Lord and he's a unit. Who's a very powerful unit. I'm not in the mood to lose him. And I have no clue what that is. I, I forgot to check. I forgot to check in the last mat. In the last. After the last game. Okay. I'm okay with him getting, like, full on 100% targeted just because of the fact that he's Operations ready. a unit we kind of got. We got for free. Okay. He can't actually do anything at this moment. Oh, this guy can't hit. Can this guy not hit flying units? Yeah, he can't hit... Fl well, he can hit flying units like that, but he can't hit flying units otherwise. Let's see, I'm going to have him come all the way over here. Because this is a really good fortified obstacle for him to just be in. I just need to... Knock him out of the sky. As the oracle foretold. And then you can just come over here and take the DNA. Cause I wanna just grab that DNA quick and shoot. Nice. You go ahead and take this fortified position right here. And there we go. There we go. Alright, now we have to still worry about that guy. Who's going to kill Unit my bird. Down. Again, not really all too worried about the bird. It's it's one that I, I you know, wasn't really all that worried about. You know. I don't know. Should I actually be worrying more about those units that we get pretty well for free? I, I don't know. Guys, I, I personally don't know. But I don't worry about him. <laughs> Enemy killed. Oh, and I can't reach the target. Oh, I don't want to kill him either. Oh, flip. All right, we'll move him as close to the target as I can. Then we're gonna have to end turn. You know, defense mode, everyone. He's just gonna be a pain and shoot my hero. Yay, hero. No, hero needs to move. And then I need to grab him. Do that. There we go. And go ahead and just spike him. Because that way we can finish him. There we go. The predicted outcome. He looked like he was still alive. My paladins are getting increasingly uneasy being around this lumbering genetic whore. I believe you can be trusted with it, Director Inessa. Just take it away. Thank you for overseeing this research, Aluna the Oathbound. We won't forget all of your help here. I only need a small tissue sample. So you can make, so you can keep Mr. Slimy. It seems to have grown accustomed to your genetic scent anyway. Mr. Slimy? I, I won't even ask. Well, the Oathbound honor all fellow combat combatants, even those as unconventional as Mr. Slimy. Good. But now I have to prepare my body for the DNA injection. After what happened the last time, 
I cannot account for using anybody else as testing subjects. If all goes well, we'll meet again as equals, breathing the same fresh air. Oh, now I just have to wait one turn. Okay. Um, hmm. I wonder what's going to happen. I, I'm, oh. I am really curious about what's going to happen. I'm going to give this guy close quarters combat. And honestly, that's two. Because he's in a vehicle. <laughs> he's in a vehicle. He has no secondary weapon, though. Mm-hmm. We could grab Volt Pistol or the Anthropic Revolver. Oh, it's, that does 12 as a single. This does 7 repeating. Let's go ahead and do that. Because he... Oh, wait, what? Xenographic... Xenografted muscles? I didn't notice that. I did not notice that. <laughs> and I forgot to confirm. There we go. Um, so now Mr. Slimy is mine forever. I have a Plague Lord. I have a Tier 3 Plague Lord permanently in my ar army now. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about that. Yeah, I am totally not sure what I feel about that. <laughs> Banners of Protection... Okay, well, you know, Plague Lords aren't that bad. No, I don't want... No, no. There, yeah, just stay there. And now we wait one turn and we're going to see what happens. This is going to be interesting. There it is. The smells, the colors. I feel like I'm reborn as an entirely different being. But what is this? Why are those insects badgering my skin? Why does the sun burn my face just for the wind to freeze it? The conflicting sensations are assailing every part of my body. It is all too overpowering and unrelenting. Oh, now he's getting to see how it feels to not be... Oh, dear. No, I must return to my DVR suit. Breath is comforting and predictable stale air. Calm my eyes with the digital readouts from my visor. I never realized how much stress and horror ordinary races constantly receive from their environment. It was foolish of me to seek changing my existence to something less. Are you sure you want to turn back now, after everything you've accomplished? Our existence isn't all that bad once you have time to get accustomed to it. Yes, I am certain. But it's not all for the worse. My research may have been folly, but it made me appreciate my own nature again. As Devar, I am tempered and tamed all of the unpleasantries other races must endure day by day. I am one of the lucky ones. Objective completed. Now I have a sapper. Is that the vehicle, or do I actually get... See, now this thing is... Uh, I get the vehicle. I got the vehicle. Basically, now I can give one of those vehicles to one of my guys if I need to. So that's not bad. Uh, right now, I want to... Personally, let's do energy development. I don't really care about the ops that are ready to prime. You need to just keep moving. This guy, though, needs to come over here. I need to, oh, I need to add a unit to this. And I'm thinking... Okay, so we do have the Paladin Protector. I'm thinking, though, I want to... One, I need to make a uh, template of the of the Paladin Warden just because I don't actually have something for him because I don't yeah I didn't have one but I'm thinking that's what he's gonna need yeah and haha -ha, I knew that was that's my that is not what I was expecting them to attack 
But I still win. Okay. That uh, was interesting. And I wasn't expecting them to attack that, but this I mean this guy has a pal a paladin protector. So I'm not even worried about that one. Okay, and yeah, you move here and just sit here for a couple of turns. Oh right, that's the I'm going this way. I want I'm wanting to do some of these side missions that will not positively or negatively affect my positively or negatively affect my um whether I complete the game. Alright. As you're about to open the containers a ragged fellow who looks like a paragon recluse approaches you on a transport and shows you an item. Tactical supply charge. As he points to the container, he seems to want to trade. Ignore the trader, gain 23 food. Or trade the food for tactical supply charge. Resupply target friendly unit, resetting its once per battle abilities and cooldown. Dude, that's not bad. It also increases gives a one shield. Mm, I just want the food. I'm just going to take the food. I don't really People don't need... Yeah, you know, I don't need it. I need to start making to where I can b build these guys over here, too. That's a tier 5. This is their the tier 5 star guide. And so, it's going to be... Especially, I believe they're more of a... Uh, Defense bonus, Cursing Light, use Starlight to attack in one hex radius, Celestian Province, gains Providence, and Enlightenment, heals for 20, yeah, so, he's more of a, uh, secondary, a support unit, words, not wanting to come out of my mouth. Oh, sorry, my, trying to do, one of the reasons why I wanted to get the Devar done so quickly, the reason why I wanted to, um, so this little army of mostly tier 2s and tier 1s are planning to attack. Yay. I need to, I kind of wish I could rush it. I really wish I could rush this right now. What do I need, 300? Is there a way to buy energy it's like is there a way to like sell something to get more energy um but yeah, that's one of the reasons why i wanted to get the devar missions done really really quickly because it hurts my throat it, it really hurts my throat a lot but let's go ahead and let's go here oh hello oh it's emma three. Oh no <laughs> it's emma three okay Oh, so you thought I was only a doll that couldn't think or talk? That's what they all say. Don't try to apologize. My memory discs know all the fetishes and perversions your human brain could devise. I've seen them all. <laughs> Objective complete. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, what just happened? It is unclear how this could happen, but it seems your psionic potential has given physical shape to the Oi, doll from your vision. Except it looks much bigger and dangerous. Okay, so wait, what just happened? Tier 2, tier 2, bunch, couple tier 1s, and the tier 1. Huh. I think I can take it. What's their army power? 560. Uh -huh. Mine's 828. If I mod this guy and mod this guy. And while we're at it, I can go ahead and put mods on her, and then wait one turn. I'm fairly certain that that army will- I will now outpower that army. Central Garden Robot Reserve. I should have... Oh, I should have figured it out just by looking. Okay, come on. I do have the other mission here as well that I need to take care of. Alright, now it's 952 is my my army. And there's a 660 easily auto combat. And I don't... 
Hmm. I'm thinking that that the Oathbound might be a little bit more overpowered than we originally assumed. Because in all honesty, I should have lost at least one guy in that. And it should have been this guy. Who foresees that there's going to be a patch that's going to kind of nerf the oath, Oathbound a little bit? Because seriously, it's been... It has been surprisingly, you know... They, they've been surprisingly strong. I've confronted the embodiment of the toy from my dream. Still, none of it seems to make sense. Why would I feel sad about losing something I never possessed? Do you? Not just your Celestian brothers and sisters have revoked their property. You mean the dream was a reflection of my paladin vow of humility? That it communicates my fear of giving up the few things I am still allowed to possess? I always valued the third noble command of protecting me from the corruption of wealth. It might have been, but it could just as well allude to a different, bigger mystery within your mind. Rest now, Prentice Aluna. The truth is made for the patient. Objective complete. And now we get the Emma 3 bot. <laughs> Which is a, um, so I believe she's, yeah, there she is right there. I'm going to just have her be right here guarding. Uh, the Emma 3 bot is, you know, it has power fist, it has some melee, it has a pistol, but it, it also has the ability to become mind, you know, mind control bad guys. It, it's a, um, yeah, just, yeah. Do I want to enter this? No, 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 I do not want to enter that. <laughs> Thank you for making it where I don't have to actually... Uh, oh, flip. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. All right. <sighs> Work your way over here. We are going to be busy, busy, busy over there. I'm going to real quick check the time, see how long we've been recording. Not that long. We can record for a little bit more. We can go a little bit more. Uh, goal being... Um, hmm. So, now I have an arm... Ooh, dang. 1224 army strength here. I'm going to go ahead and use him to go clear this guy out. Whoa! Wait, 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 wait. The rest of my army, please. I hate when that happens, you know? And... done. And now we have... Honestly, we're going to have a very nice little army right here at this rate. I mean, seriously, it's... It's getting pretty good. And we can annex another sector. Arctic, which is a... So this would be a good production one. Oh, wait a minute. Who is... Oh, it's this place. We're... This is the place that's actually annexing. Um... Actually, you know what? Let's do production. Let's annex a production sector. And that away. And we'll go ahead and let's do science with this guy. And then let's build another paladin aspirant over here. And they can, uh, they can also annex another sector. Dang. I'm thinking this place here. Because it's going to have a broadcast station, which is going to help increase that, and then an overgrown biome. I know, I do need to take... Whoa! Peyton's Oath also can annex a sector? Oh my goodness. Like, seriously, everyone's being able to annex a sector. Like, three places annexing a sector at once. I've never had that happen before. Now, I need to come over here and recapture this sector. I wonder what happens if I don't capture it. Oh, wow, okay. 
this I was waiting for, actually. Oh! Almost lost one of my guys there. Okay, yeah, that's just going to be a uh, laughing. It's like, that's just something to laugh at. There are a lot of... You know, seeing all of these tells me there's... Yeah, there's one right there. There's nests all over the place. We got... We gotta go a little bit nest hunting is what I think we need to do. I am not in the mood for a hero right now. They have an unexploited sector, which we're gonna go ahead and exploit. These guys, it's gonna be agriculture. Let's make another agriculture. Well, no, let's do an energy because it's not bad on energy. This one will be an industrial. This guy... Go over here. Grab that. Because it's useful. <laughs> it is useful. And then... What do I want to use your army for right now? Well, come down here. That's what you're going to be used for. You're going to clear out all of these little things that are all over the place. Let the light and I can finally do that. And then I kind of want to get the Shield of Remorse. Each time this unit is damaged by another unit, the attacker has a strength 8 chance to become Soul Burn. And then the attacker also gains Remorse. A stacking debuff that applies now. It also increases the health. So those are that's a really good... Yeah, that's a good thing. Let's definitely go that way. But yeah, you can... You're going to actually... First, let's take this place, and then take this place, and then take that place. And I think I have some more over here. Yeah, I have some more over here. In fact, you can go ahead and... What's this army power? 930? If I combine them with this group here... I believe I am... About to... Let's go ahead and build there we go um probably shouldn't be going out into the water but oh well as i now get attacked should oh i lost one of my paladin protectors okay well well okay hmm oh hello oh we have found an unlucky buyer for the material collected from the growth on the black market vegetarians. Let's go ahead and re re-annex that sector. Oh, haha, -ha, see? See? I knew there was an assembly here. I am not in the mood to deal with the assembly at the moment. I mean, serious, I knew there was an assembly here. That's just annoying. I knew there was an assembly here. Oh, my gosh. I'm gonna give him infantry command, intuitive strikes. So that when he has, when she has, oh, I have a whole bunch of weaknesses. Why am I weak to everything? That was weird. I have no clue why I'm weak to everything. All right. So. And that was going to be an agricultural center. Let's go ahead and complete some of these missions now. And this shouldn't be... Yeah, I was about to say, this shouldn't be too hard. You know, Tier 2 at most. I got Tier 3 and a Tier 2 and a bunch of Tier 1s. Go ahead and just auto-combat that. And close out. There we go. Let's go ahead and take that. I barely even took any damage. Goodness me, this is just becoming... I am sorry to say, but... I do believe the these guys might just be a tad on the overpowered side. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. And then give him Vitality as well, so he's gotten some more hit points. And now we can link to a colony. Choose a colony for this hero to lead, granting it economic bonuses. Let's go ahead and link him there. Yeah, that works.
he has decided to claim this land, which is not a surprise because it does have the derelict power resource node. Uh, I'm not personally going to worry about him, you know. We helped each other. I think we're not going to be a problem. Uh, I do need to work on some of my offensive mods, though, I think. I do think I need to work on my offensive mods. I have a lot of defensive mods, but not really much in the way of offensive. Ooh, and you have a Paladin Protector that I will not mind borrowing. You'll go there. You'll go here. Let's go ahead and keep Vigil. Let's just go ahead and get that done for, for now. Dang, these guys heal fast. That was just one turn, and okay. Yeah, you guys heal really quick. Okay, so now I've I've cleared up my at least so far I've cleared up. Let's go ahead and go clear that place up next. Cuz it's useful to you know clear things out. I'll go ahead and put him over here. Just guard there. All right. Daha! I knew that was going to happen. But I have such a huge defending power that I am not even worried about it. Two hours past nightfall, and the city has turned eerily quiet. The people of Trutchet are afraid of what there is to come, and have barricaded themselves inside their houses. This is horrible. The clock strikes twelve when a mysterious dark green mist starts spreading through the streets of Trutchet. It thickens until one cannot see beyond arm's length. A few minutes later, a desperate cry breaks the silence of the night. This is the moment of truth. Followers of the Celestian Order, channel the light of the stars and let it dispense the darkness, concealing this night's crime. Now! Hooded figures. The lighted streets reveal three hooded figures, one of them a large hulk carrying a man-sized package. With unnatural speed, they make a run towards the city's walls. Hold it right there, Atrocis criminals. It is time for you to receive your judgment. Fool! The bulky figure drops the living package, grabs his companions, and leaps onto the city wall. Then with a flash of purple, he hurls his blade at the sack he had left behind and disappears sister eluna the unknown intruder intruders have escaped into the night sadly the civilian that they tried to abduct almost instantly died from the wound caused by the thrown blade how do you want to continue the pursuit let a scryer follow the perpetrators use the chaos blade as a divining rod consult with Verascal before you respond. Huh. Um. This blade left behind is infused with a strange erratic energy. It seems to react to its surroundings, resonate with resonating with the anthropic field emitted by the dissipating mist. If we use it to track similar technology, it will surely lead us to the villain's hideout. Objective completed. And I am very happy to take that reward. Take some time to examine the Chaos Blade before using it to track down the Trutchet villains. Okay, so I just have to wait a turn. Oh, wait, why are they not happy? That ain't... Oh, I, is it probably because of... Um, yeah, it is. Alright, let's go ahead and get the uh, Wreck Drone built, like, now. And we uh, now have the Met. We, we now are getting some offensive... Because that's an offensive, yeah. Increases damage. So that's good. I want that. And this is also an offensive mod for Thropic attacks. Defensive mod. Offensive mod. Unit gains detection at plus two sensory range whenever this unit gets hit with a th within a three hex range. It gets quick strike for one turn. A five range attack with a six chance of giving adversity addition. It also gives an increased 20%. That's a 20%. That's a 10%. That's a tier 2 mod. Granted, I could probably just go here and then here and get this tier 2 offensive mod. 
But at the same time, we might... Honestly, we probably don't need that one. Oh, well. There's... I'm not too worried. Well, no, what I want is I want environmental conditioning so that I can start removing stuff. Wait, Dawn of a New Union is now over here? And this has changed. Oh my goodness, Unbreakable Vows. And then, yes, there's the future, the newest thing. So that's going to be interesting. Alright, I want to grab these two, put them in with this guy. And I'm going to have them moving together down. I'm personally just going to keep the Emma bot there because I personally don't really want it damaged. I know, a little weird. You know, it's, it's just an Emma bot. But yeah, I'm just, I'm, yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah! <laughs> I know, I'm so weird. Alright, this is going to be the last mission, guys. Then, or this is going to be the last time I do things, and then we're going to go ahead and call it a day. I have attuned my mind to the Chaos Blade. It is a cursed piece of technology that feeds on the life force and energy of its victims. The anthropic spark of the blade is dwindling. It requires blood. It demands blood. The thought of wielding such an unholy relic makes me shudder, but it needs to be done. For the safety of Trutchet. Lucky there are many monsters on the on the ecozat of Verdice that can serve to recharge the Chaos Blade without staining my conscience and oath. Objective completed. Alright. Killed four units in a single combat with the Chaos Blades needs to recharge in anthropic potential before it can use to track other Chaos units. For the blade, all kills are good kills. Objectives. Kill four units in a single combat with the Chaos Blade equipped. And uh, they're, they're good. They're good. I have a feeling it's going to be upkeep again. So I have to go here... Equip the Chaos Blade, and then she just needs to kill stuff. Like, there's a small group over here that, well, it needs to be a group of four that she needs to kill. So, could probably just go over here and take out this group. Or, honestly, this here. I know I shouldn't be doing this right now. And I'm fairly certain I can just auto-combat. Oh, those are advanced units. There we go, and then close, and take the reward, and I have to do the killing? Do I think I have to do the final blow on all of them. Alright guys, well that's going to be it for today. It looks like I have to do the final blow. Which means I'm going to have to actually, you know, do the fighting in of itself. Dang it. Alright, well we'll take care of that in the next round so i will see you guys in the next episode thank you so much for watching if you guys like this video please remember to hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more crazy videos and thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys have a great day